What's up, everybody? I've been getting some questions uh, from some of the viewers asking whether or not uh, the Cubans that I've been, uh, you know, buying in the uh, cigar shops in Mexico are actually authentic. Uh, I've given you some of the videos of uh, tours of the different cigar shops where you can find authentic Cuban cigars. Uh, but some of the viewers have posted, you know, how do you really know um, whether or not the cigars are authentic Cubans or not? And, and it's a fair question. I think that there's a lot of videos on YouTube that go over um, how do you discern a fake uh, Cuban versus an authentic one. But they really talk about just the cigars themselves uh, and not really go into boxes. The reason I don't buy single cigars, uh, whether I'm in Cuba or I'm, you know, outside in another country like Mexico or Dubai, uh, really even or even Central America, the reason why is I specifically purchase boxes of cigars, um, entire boxes, and there's certain characteristics I look for. One of the things that you'll find is that in Mexico you can find cigar boxes uh, that will have either that will come into a secondary box in this case here's another box of uh, of Cohiba Lanceros uh, these have a cardboard box which you can see but if you'll notice the boxes on the inside don't have uh, the labels that you see on the outside box there's a reason for this but let's get into some of the things that um, we see when we purchase, you know, full boxes of Cuban cigars from the shops in Mexico. One thing you're going to see, and, and I'm going to tell you the difference is, first of all, you're going to find uh, a green label that looks like this. It's going to have uh, the official seal of Cuba. Uh, which of Cuban cigars, which is this Q. Uh, the, the, the label got wrecked a little bit because there was a sticker going across and I pulled it apart and naturally it destroyed the label. That's actually one of the characteristics. You're going to see a hologram image right there and you can, um, hopefully you can come out on video, but you'll see it's two and three dimensional. And then what you'll see is also a serial code on each box with a serial code number. Okay, you should always see that number one on every box. I can tell you right now for boxes that come in a secondary box, the actual boxes um, themselves when you unpack them are not going to have that green label across the box. Now, uh, in another case, when the boxes uh, do not come in a secondary box, they will have a label. And in this case, you see it's obviously torn off. The label, though, we know it's authentic because um, the characteristic is it's that green label. And I saw this, guys, and I'll explain why that label is torn. But in this case, it has the uh, serial code number right here. I know that's a little bit tough to see. I have the, the flashlight on. Um, it's really tough to see. Uh, and to be honest with you, even with my glasses, I can't see it. Uh, so I, what I do is I take photos of them. And then I enlarge the photo so I can read the serial code. In this case, the number uh, that we're looking at right now is uh, basically four zeros. I'm, and I'm very, I apologize because you can't see the numbers too well. Um, and my camera is not the best. But So I have to take a picture, a photo from a distance. And it's basically the number here. Uh, that I will show you how we go to the S.A. Habanos website into their authenticity checker. You can input this serial number and it will then show you uh, information about the box. In this case, it's the Ramon Ionis Perfectos. So that's the first thing that you want to see. Um, one of the things, characteristics you're going to find about boxes in Mexico, the aside from the green label, and in this case, here's an example of a box of uh, La Casa del Habano exclusive uh, Punch 48s. Uh, underneath, you'll see that it has that label serial code. So again, I can look up that serial code number on the website, which I will show you shortly. The 
boxes in Mexico will all have three different items uh, that you will check. The first thing will be they're going to have, number one, all of the exportation from S.A. Habanos. This is the S.A. Habanos uh, exportation label that will be stuck to the each box on the right hand corner. And as you can see in this box that I purchased, uh, it has that S.A. Habanos exportation uh, label. The second thing you will see is also, like we mentioned, the green label. The third item will be a health warning label from the health ministry of uh, the Mexican government. And so when you look at this box, it will also show you a description of when the box was received, which was November 2022. It's going to tell you the location, interestingly enough, of the address of where the box was shipped to, a description, punch 48. Okay, the reason why uh, these two boxes do not have the labels and I have an explanation. This box did have this code on it or this health label on it. The reason why I peeled it back was because I wanted to see the date, the box code date on the back. This label that the health ministry puts on is not only on the front but it also goes on the back. They put this huge label uh, on the box. So there's no way you can see the box code or the date. In this case, when there's a secondary box, you can. Because you'll, you'll see here the punch. Let me take this out. The punch 48. And then you flip it over and it will show you the uh, factory code and the date. So this is August 2022. Uh, but uh, the actual labels, uh, the health code labels, will not be on both the outer box and the uh, inner box. That's only when there's secondary boxes and secondary packaging. In this case for this box, this had it, uh, this label on here. I used a lighter, heat it up, and then I peeled it back. But you're going to destroy this sticker, which is a characteristic of this sticker, of this label. I'm going to give you an example now of a fake, uh, some fakes that you'll buy. And this is what you will see. I bought this just purely for uh, shits and giggles. Uh, sometimes I give these as a joke or gag gifts uh, to friends during our white elephant gift exchange during Christmas. I actually bought this on the beach at Mazatlan. But when you go to see street vendors, uh, you will see boxes like this. Uh, you'll see boxes of Monte Cristo, Cohiba, uh, Partagas. Uh, and the unique thing is they try to do their best to make this look authentic. Um, and they do a piss poor job. First of all, one thing I want you guys to notice is the label, the Republic of Cuba label, is a completely different shade of green than this label, as you can see right here. Okay, obviously it's different. Number one, fake. Number two is the Cuban cigars never come with a glass or a plastic window in a box like this. This is just plastic glass. Another telltale sign. You look on the back of these boxes and there's no box code. This is pretty obvious, but when you go into cigar shops in Mexico that are not licensed S.A. Habanos distributors, and again, they're going to have this sticker on every single one of their boxes. They cannot have it, any box without it. It has to be on the box. You'll notice that this label also, if I take it off, is a tear away. It'll destroy, it'll, it'll basically, you cannot peel the sticker off intact. It'll rip. Sort of like your uh, license plate registration tags, right? Once you put, apply them, you can't pull them off intact. So one of the things um, that you'll see is you may even see boxes like these uh, in cigar shops. The first thing you can do is, number one, every single box, whether it be if they're going to show the cedar box, is going to have this label on it. And it will have the label on the back, this exact same label, okay? Um, which makes it difficult because when you want to see the factory code and the date, you 
can't most um most shops will not let you peel it off because it's a by law they have to have it uh lcdh in guadalajara when i'm interested in a box they actually i've known them for a couple years now they know what i spend there uh we will use a lighter to heat it and we'll peel it back uh just so that i can see the uh factory code and the date that's on the back of every box like this one right that's the date i want to see because i want to see the dates uh so the second thing is you might see uh boxes of various boxes of cohiba um partagas h upman whatever it may be in the shop if they do not have these health warning labels, you can look on the back of the boxes, then they'll have real boxes. The difference is, is that they will not have any factory codes or dates. They will be blank boxes. Automatically, they're fake. I would never trust those. So again, an example, never buy cigar. One thing you'll notice is that when you go to street vendors, whether it be in most of the tourist areas, uh, in Cancun, Playa del Carmen, Mazatlan, uh, Puerto Vallarta, Cabo San Lucas. Do not ever buy cigars off the street. Um, and, and I see guys who go to Cuba, they go, they hire a driver to take them around to a shop, which is not a licensed S.A. Habanos dealer. And they'll always have in the front of every shop on the window, the tag that shows uh, this symbol, which is the Habanos uh, symbol. They'll also have their quote-unquote driver um, say, hey, I can get you cigars. And I see this even on YouTube videos. There's guys who say these are the cigars that they got, they purchased uh, from their driver who happened to know somebody at the factory. I'm not saying that's not impossible, but I always make it a point to only buy cigars from authorized S.A. Habanos dealers. And La Casa del Habano is one of them. That's not to say that only La Casa del Habano shops sell authentic Cuban cigars. Again, you look for the specific dealership licenses which are going to be on the window. And you're going to look at all the boxes and see. The reason why this box that I did buy, uh, uh, the Cohiba Lanceros that I bought this box at um, the La Casa del Habano in um, Guadalajara was because I was actually in the shop when they received the shipment and they didn't even have an opportunity to put the sticker on because I told Esteban, who is the owner uh, and proprietor of that particular uh, shop, uh, he had a box, one box of Lanceros, <clears throat> and I told him that I will buy them. So uh, as soon as he opened the shipment box, I immediately bought it. And he was very gracious to sell me the whole box. Uh, but again, this is why I only buy boxes and not buy cigars by the piece. Um, but, you know, I, I wanted to go over that. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about how to spot a fake Cuban cigar <clears throat> how to inspect a cigar to see what different characteristics, uh, look at the bands and the labels. Uh, to be perfectly honest, the counterfeiters now on the bands um, are so good that it, it's it's really, really tough to see. Uh, and even you think that you know all the characteristics of the bands that you see on the, um, on the cigars. Uh, again, I go with the the telltale um, signs of uh, basically buying them by the box and then looking at the factory code. So, you know, yeah, the bands look great and whatnot, but the counterfeiters are so good nowadays, guys. Um, you know, I think it's better to go with buying from trusted sources. So that's that. That's the reason why this particular box does not have a... Um, a Mexican government ministry, health ministry warning label. But however, let's go and let's take a look and let's go through what I'm talking about, about going online to the S.A. Habanos website to input this serial number and check to see if, in fact, that is the box that we purchased from an S.A. Habanos authorized dealer, and in this case, La Casa del Habano.
So do a Google search, type in Habanos Authenticity Check, you'll get some hits. You can also input uh, Habanos.com in the URL, uh, URL window. Click on Authenticity Check, Habanos SA official website, and it'll take you to their website. And we click, uh, yes, we're over 21, and it's going to take you to the Authenticity Check page. What you want to do here is you can look over this. It basically gives you all the characteristics of the seal that is placed on all of the boxes of authentic Cuban cigars. This is from the government of Cuba, and it's going to be in always in this uh, green color. This is the official seal. Uh, the green color should be the same shade as you saw in the example. The, there's, you know, fakes obviously have a different color scheme and hue. It's going to have a hologram on one side and a barcode on the other. This is showing you basically the position of the label on every single box of authentic Cuban cigars. It should never be placed on anywhere else. The box will always have the label at the top with the hologram on the lid. And then it's going to run down and be folded over the box, over the lid on the side, front side of the box with the barcode showing. Uh, it gives you some characteristics about the label, how it, if you place any sticker or adhesive uh, paper on top of that green label and try to remove it, it's going to rip it off. It will not stay intact. Um, it has a holographic band on one end, as you saw, and it shows basically when you look at it, by color text in second and third dimension. So basically you'll see something that basically looks three dimensional uh, on that holographic band. Um, you can also shine a blue light on it. And then now you click into enter into authenticity check. You go to a page which says verification de autenticidad, which is verify its authenticity. And again, it goes through the characteristics, albeit in Spanish, uh, of the green label, the hologram, uh, and the serial barcode, as well as the position and placement of these official seals on all the boxes. Here you're going to input the manually input the serial code that's listed at the bottom of the, the barcode. You want to make sure that you check Entrada Manual, which means manual entry. And then you're going to select the style of the barcode that you see on the box. More often than not, uh, for the past 43 years, it's going to be a single um, uh, serial code that's uh, that's not broken up like you see in the first three examples. So we're going to input the serial number from that box of Ramon Iones uh, Perfectos, uh, which were the Mexico exclusives. So I'm typing in the number um, that I taken from the um, barcode, and then we're going to scroll down. Make sure we have everything checked. Yet yeah, we got to go through the CAPTCHA verification. Uh, you guys are well aware of this, so we're going to check. Uh, it says check all the palm trees, verify. Now it knows we're not a robot. We're going to verify. Click the verificar, verification. It takes us to a page that says Información sobre el producto, which means information about the product. And if the barcode uh, checks out, it's going to give you. Uh, the description of the box, which in this case is the Ramon Iones Perfectos. And so, yeah, so you see, we just check the website. <clears throat> They're the Ramon Iones uh, Perfectos. So we know for a fact that it checks out. The serial code <clears throat> matches the S.A. Habanos website. One other thing I wanted to show you guys um, on <clears throat> characteristic about these labels. Um, I often use a black light and any legitimate um, dealer in, at least in Havana, um, a personal friend of mine who is a manager of one of the shops. Um, if you ask her, you know what, hey, are these real? She's going to use this black light and she's going to flash it on the cigars themselves and on the label. But when you look at individual sticks, I'm going to show you guys how to use this black light. Um, and, and, you know, forgive me because the video, it's a little bit difficult, but I'm going to use this black light and I'm going to show you on this label. Let me do it without the light first. 
Um, here's a box of Limitados that I bought. Uh, this happens to be the Monte Cristo Supremos that were released 2019. These were actually the Festival Cigars of 2020 uh, that they debuted uh, right uh, actually in January uh, of 2020. Uh, interesting story, I was actually taking a tour of the Partagas factory in Havana and I saw these yellow boxes that were, um, you know, on a table in the factory. And I actually asked our tour guide, hey, which, what are those yellow boxes? And she said, oh, those are Monte Cristos. And now I have never seen Monte Cristo uh, boxes that were yellow. And she said, oh, no, those are the festival cigars. So I was like, oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to have to get one of those. But uh, that aside, so let's look <clears throat> at the label, the green label. And I'm going to, hopefully this will come out, but you can see this label. I'm going to hone in a little bit on there. Uh, let me see if I can put my light on to give it a little bit more contrast. But you can see this label right here, right? Okay, I'm going to flash the black light on this label. Okay, you can see these. And now let's look at it with the black light. Okay, when you flash the black light, you're going to see a shield. And it's a little bit difficult, uh, you know. Let me switch off the flash for a second. You're going to see a um, shield on this. Uh, it's going to be difficult to see, but yeah. So w without the black light, you can see it right there. But then when I shine the black light, you're going to see this shield. Uh, and that's going to be on the label. So you'll know that it's an authentic label. Other characteristics are there's going to be two dots here at the end. Let me turn off the light. Let's get a closer look. <clears throat> There's one dot on the bottom corner here uh, that you can see. But then let's shine this black light on there. Okay. Um, let me do this. Let me shut off the light because that might help. So here we go. Um, again, the label. Let me shine the black light. And now you can see these two dots here. But interestingly enough, on the flip side, you see these two dots that show up now. And there's a, you know, a lot of guys who like to go through uh, and flash these blue lights, uh, these black lights on labels to look for different, just different little uh, markings. It's very interesting. But again, here's that example of the shield. Uh, the light's too bright. Um, here we go. You see that? And then without the light. Let me give you a close-up. You cannot see any trace of that shield. However, when you shine the black light on there, um, let me try to get that. There you go. You see it's sort of like a trophy cup. You guys can see that hopefully. Uh, that is a characteristic of uh, this green uh, label. Let's look at our fake beach purchased Esplendidos, which happen to be Limitados. Uh, but let me look at this label now, which is a very horrible rendition of, uh, of the uh, government label. So here we have the lights back on. Um, here's the label. You can see it. Uh, it's, it's, it just looks so bad, but not to say that they're not great counterfeits. Uh, counterfeit bands out there guys, but you notice look at the difference in the labels uh, Let me see if I can hold this up number one. There's no hologram on the end of this label every single box will have a hologram like this one Let me pull this up uh, Unfortunately, it's covered by this sticker so you won't see it, but it's there believe me um, So again, here's the an example let me put these side by side. So there. You don't need great lighting to see that there's a, a, a huge difference in the hue. But again, let's look at the black light here uh, on this. You can see that cup, that trophy cup. Hopefully you can see it on the video. Right under, in between the Republica de Cuba. And let's see what it's here. And I know that there's cellophane, but it really wouldn't matter because it would still show up. Obviously, there's nothing showing up, right? Now you know it's fake. So, again, guys, um, 
with all the videos out on YouTube, and you'll see guys who say like, oh yeah, I went to Cuba, I went to Havana, um, our driver picked up, um, you know, took us and sold us, about, took us to a shop, and we bought Cubans there. First of all, if the shop does not have the SA Habanos logo on the window, uh, I would not be buying them. Second, I would not be buying any cigars from that shop. Secondly, um, the the shops, you should always go to a shop that either states it's La Casa del Habano, LCDH, or it is Caracol. Uh, Caracol is basically Spanish word for snail, uh, but <clears throat> Caracol and LCDH are all authorized government stores of Cuba and they will you can rest assured that you're going to be buying authentic cuban cigars so i hope this was helpful if this was helpful to you guys please uh, hit that like button and subscribe for more content uh, on buying real cuban cigars until then guys smoke them if you got them